So working with the space, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to make these displays work, what I want to put in the place of them, everything like that. Um, I'm, I'm figuring, I'm going to do one at Endor, um, but I need to figure out how I can work the forest and everything around. And I think I actually want to put the rebel, the Imperial bunker as part of the display. And then that way I can build that over the top of the mound. And then at that point I can build up some foliage uh, around the edges here. Um, and then allow me to put in, so the walker's going to be somewhere in here. And a couple of scout walkers are going to be over here. But I can put in a, a whole pile of trees all around this entire setting here creating a, a nice setting with, with branches coming off of them. And I can hang my Ewok gliders off of those. Yeah, so I think that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'll keep it mostly open, that way I can put a couple of speeder bikes down there. Uh, it's really gonna be about figuring out a scale that works for building the uh, Rebel Bunker, the Imperial Bunker here. And I've already put the backdrop on there now, so it means that I can actually make that work. And I think that's going to be the goal of, of all this. This is very, very crude drawing, of course. But I think that'll be a nice little scale to actually do this all in. And basically, that would be what I'd be looking at, uh, is, is, is the bunker in the back center here. It's going to help me out. And uh, I decided to go on to SketchUp and draw up this imagery. Uh, it took me a little bit of time to figure out the angles, stuff like that, but uh, I believe I've got something down that's representation of what I've got for the size and the placement of, uh, of the actual piece. So uh, I ended up by putting this through the 3D printer and then put it through the dryer. And ultimately, this is what the final result turned out to be in pieces. Uh, I've got the top, the roof, I've got some panels I did for the side. And uh, yeah, I'm going to glue the panels in place and um, go for it and, uh, and just place it in there. Eventually I'm going to come back in, I'm going to paint it separately and then I'll put it back in, mount it in the right place. So the first step I need to do is I just need to sand back the edges that I'm going to glue these pieces into. Uh, I've got a couple little spots in there I just want to get back, give it a bit of a rough edge because I made it that these pieces here are going to want to sit and be attached in here. So I'm going to use just a little bit of super glue and put it on the back here. Actually, I'm going to also rough up the back of that just so there's a bit of coarseness so that it sticks and holds itself in place. I won't need a lot of super glue, I just need a little bit. And then and the idea is just to put it in, place it in here, and let it set. And the good thing about it being so small is I've got detail in here, but I don't have to go crazy because it's so small. Uh, but at the same time, I believe I've got enough detail to kind of indicate everything there. And it looks good. And I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side here. And that has now got the inner sides there all joined in. And then it's about putting on the rooftop itself. And the roof, again, I just printed out the base of the roof. Uh, I lost a little bit of my detail in here, but once I paint it up and everything, it'll, it'll read. Uh, in this case, I'm going to line it up towards the front and just eyeball center it there. I'm going to put, actually, I'm going to rough that edge a little. Rough the edges along here. Okay, and the goal here is to be as minimal as possible, but enough that it still sticks. Okay, it's really important I get this lined up best I can. I'm just going to eye its placement in there. Make sure those are sitting in nice and evenly. And there you have it. And I've got some details I'm going to add in here separately. It's going to be easier for me to 
do all that individual. It was a little hard to get certain shapes in here. There's some pipe that goes around the back of this and stuff like that. By the time I add foliage and, and dirt and stuff on top of it, I think this is going to end up by basically turning out to be exactly what it wanted to be, which is like the bunker. Uh, when I put it in there in scale to the speeders and Ewoks and stuff like that, I've, I've got a nice little scale that feels about accurate. If I stand this guy up right here, you can see that they're the right scale and, and height for inside of the bunker. Um, what I kind of need is an Endor Han or an Endor Lear, an R2 and 3PO in this scene, which would be kind of fun. Uh, I guess we might get that in the future. So I'm going to be building up the ground a little bit just because of the height of this and the scale to cover this and to actually cover it properly. It needs to sit a little higher up. Uh, this is going to eventually sit in here just as such. Uh, these figures are going to be in the right scale to everything here just as such. Let's get that there. Uh, and then what I'll do around here is I'm going to build up some dirt and stuff around here as there is a mound that exists in here and there's a mound that exists in here and cover it. I'm going to put some tree lines all through here uh, and then a lot of earth and, and, and texture. It's going to help build up into the corners here. Mm -hmm.